cats jumping through hoops and pole vaulting from one meeting to another, and I decided I deserved a break. Anybody deserve a break? Yes. yes. So I went to the grocery store. That's where I go when I need a break. Something about the produce aisle just really suits my nerves. <laughs> and so when I left, I went out to my car and clamped on my door handle was an old-fashioned wooden clothespin, painted gold, and written on it were the words, you shine. This one says give love, because then I had to go make my own, right? So. But you shine. You shine. And it was then that I realized that I had gotten so focused on getting every task tipped off my to-do list that I had lost sight of what it is that I actually do. I shine. Okay. Here's what I actually do, and it's not necessarily shining. I'm a social worker and a volunteer manager for Senior Resources Incorporated. I work with, ooh, yeah, that's right. I work with the foster grandparent senior companion programs of the Midlands. I write budgets, I manage grants, I do all sorts of stuff, but what gives me the most joy is working with 150 low-income seniors who volunteer in the homes of other seniors with chronic care needs and disabilities to keep them independent, and I also place volunteers in schools with children with special needs um, to help them get on track and stay on track. These programs have been around for a very long time, and I'm honored to be a part of them, just like I'm honored to be here today. But it's those people, it's those volunteers who go out in the community every day, who make a difference, and who create change. It's pretty powerful. But here's what's fascinating. My volunteers report higher incidences of positive affectivity, of lower, lower rates of depression, lower rates of social isolation. That's not surprising, is it? Everybody feels good when they do good. That's not rocket science. But we cannot separate ourselves from our communities. We cannot separate our health from the health of our communities. We are impacted as much as we impact. Because of my volunteers and the work that they do, I was inspired to serve as well. I was reading a blog, I love blogs, I write a blog, and so I decided that um, I would do what this woman did. She had done a birthday project. She did an act of service for each year of her life on her birthday. And I had the fortitude to do that, so I decided to one-up it and do one act of service for each month, for each day of the month before my birthday. So 29 and one to grow on. Yeah, you can see what big one's coming up. <laughs> and so it started in May last year. I uh, took swim noodles to a community pool. I took love letters to a bookstore and left them in the self-help section. I took Sudoku puzzles to... I took Sudoku puzzles to a nursing home, and I had a benefit concert. I gave away kazoos. There was a kazoo earlier that made me really happy. Bubbles, all sorts of stuff. But what was most important and most happy on that day was I gave a dollar to a little girl behind me at the Dollar Tree. And the look on her face said it all. It doesn't take much to make a day. She was so surprised. She was elated. She thanked me. And I didn't care about that thanks, and I didn't care about that dollar. I cared about that love of connection that sparked and what that meant. And I hope that her whole life she'll remember that it doesn't take much to make a day and that she'll do acts of kindness. We know that those things ripple throughout our community. We do. It's that connection. It's that effort. And it's that joy. Being open to that is so important. Learning how to design a positive experience for someone else is a worthwhile pursuit. Positive psychology teaches us that pleasure pathways, mind training, and mindfulness make a difference. They open us to experiences. They make us happier. They make us healthier. And in turn, through emotional contagion, we infect those around us with love and good feelings. And that's important. Those little acts of kindness, those little things we do, they set the stage for the big things that are happening. We see a lot of big things happening in our community that we heard about today, but they all start with a small spark. Ignite yourself. Ignite yourself and be ablaze with bliss. 
It doesn't take much to make your day either. And we'll all be better together for it. Thank you.